So anyways, like I always say, if you like these episodes from RC Guy Garage, you already know what to do. So just get out there and rip it. Why do I call them Zop Pop Packs? All right, so here's my Void Pack, right? <laughs> so this is obviously, we'll just kind of like go backwards here. Let's go to Cell 1 or Channel 1. This is Zop Pop. Now, that's the one that was a Void Pack from last year. It's actually balance charging fairly well right now. But here's the one that I never had issue with, right? So I just put it on the charger right now. You go to cells. What the heck is that? So you think I'm joking about how these Zop Power batteries are pieces of crap? There's your proof right there. All right? So there you go. Anyways, uh, we're back on drag bug. I actually did pick up obviously the best gear that you can get. Robinson Racing. It's actually a 26 tooth 48 pitch uh, gear. We're going to throw it in drag bug. I'm trying to charge my Zop Pop packs. Man, I don't know what to tell you, man. That is why I made that video. Because point blank. They're pieces of crap. 50% shot. Like, literally. Now I think we're like 60% shot. 60% shot that you're going to get a piece of crap pack. So, yeah. You heard it from me. RC Guy Garage. Zop. Pop. Crap. Pack. That's actually, hey, that actually goes, that actually goes right. Zop. Pop. Crap. Pack. Alright. We're just going to, um... We're going to switch out this pinion here. I just figured I'd video it. So like I said, we did get the Robinson Racing gear. These are obviously the, the better quality uh, gears to go with. I mean, just feeling just feeling the quality of that compared to this powdered piece of crap. This thing's awesome. Tiny little set screw, don't lose that. So we know that the... Um, the motor itself also needs to move because um, it, it did move. And this is a 27 tooth uh, pinion gear and this thing is bigger than the original that was in there. So, come on, I'm trying to get my case open here. So I obviously want to slide this motor back or forward, whatever it is. I think it's a, what is it, a 1.5 or a 2.0? Looks like it might be a 2.0. No, it's a 1. Point, it's a it's a 2.5. All right. So, I'm going to actually pop these screws out. And I'm going to throw some thread lock on them, so hopefully they're not going to move. Which, it looks like that one's going to kind of be a pain in the neck to get to, won't it? Well, maybe I can get to it going this way. I can press the suspension. Boy, that's tough. They don't make that easy to get to. Come on, Red Cat. What are you guys thinking, man? Yeah, that's loose. How am I going to get to that damn gear? Or that screw. It made it kind of uh, difficult here. Alright, so I've got one of my round ones here. It really kind of made this difficult. Man. You know what? I think I'm going to leave that in there. I think I'm going to try to relax. Wow, is that all pieces? Yeah, it is. It's pieces. Is that pieces? No way. There is, it's pieces of gear. There's still pieces of gear surrounding this motor here. I guess I think that's pieces of gear. Oh, I don't know. All right. Let's get this little micro set screw here. Toss a little thread lock on it. So it goes nowhere. 
I'll just install it right inside for now, just like that. We'll fit this gear on there, just like so. Holy moly. Something along that line right there. I just wanna I just wanna grab the shaft just a little bit right now so that it's kind of throws the pinion kind of in line a little bit. It's pretty much there. It's it's not tight, it's just kind of sitting in place right now. So now what I want to do is obviously want to rotate that. I want to tighten up tighten up my bottom screw for now. I think we're good there. We got zero rotation because it's way too tight. Get in there. I just want to just back it off a touch. That mesh is actually damn. And these Robinson racing gears, man, I'm telling you, the mesh is like ultra, ultra tight. I just want to back the motor off just a little bit more so it's not so tight. There we go. That is literally like the slightest amount of motion right there. It's almost as if this Robinson racing gear wants pretty close to nothing. Like it needs a feeler gauge to get in there. I mean to feel the rock on that it's it's literally nothing. So now that I know that's in place a little thread lock on here just a little throw that right in there make sure we're good yeah to understand the little amount of motion that we're getting out of that thing now I just want to line the gear up the mesh is mint now now I just want to actually push on the pinion just the slightest amount so it's oh, right there. That is like zeroed out. So you see what I'm saying? That is literally zeroed out for that alignment. I don't know if you could see that, but that is... That is pretty close to, pretty close to perfection. Yeah, that's good. All right, check on the Zaw Pop. I don't know, I guess we're going to be leaving that one alone. you got to be kidding me. And that was my good one. So we got a little bit longer to wait for that. But once that thing is done, the pavement is dry enough now, finally. Stopped raining at like, I don't know couple hours ago and the pavement's finally dry enough now we will take drag bug out for a couple more rips so we are running now a 27 tooth pinion now we're running a proper gear which is a robinson racing up against that spur gear which i feel that that spur gear it's a different kind of animal at least it certainly does does seem like it was uh the pinion was the weak link on that 
And uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna try and rip it on crawler tires. <laughs> Drag bug. Drag bug budget build. Redneck. You know it. Right there. All right. So let's uh let's just wait on that thing to charge. The next time you see me, we're gonna be in the street. So what do I always say? Just rip it. <laughs> it's actually got a little clogging. You can see there is uh we, we do have some tire limitations. Being a crawler. I don't know, I guess you can see the cogging. But being a crawler tire and wheel, it's uh maybe the wheel itself is fine, but the uh the tire and the foams, it's like not really designed for maybe like speed or going straight or something, so <laughs> I, I don't know. It is gonna rip it. We're gonna see what happens. I mean, how much that's wiggling. It's terrible. But I do feel like, I do feel like the tire is probably going to hook up now. I hope. And um, I actually did raise up the front end too. So the front end is actually uh, probably maxed out as far as, high, as, I guess maybe as high as it could go per shock tower and the, um, the actual swing arm or the, the, the lower arm. I know it looks absolutely ridiculous, but uh, I don't know. I just had to try it, you know what I mean? Had to try and see if this would actually work. In theory, right? So in theory, in my mind, I just, I feel like it's actually gonna work. So let's, um, let's just give it a quick launch, see what happens. No way. Are you kidding me? It's wheeling now. Oh! Uh. Whoa! Oh man. I think this is the ticket. Holy crap. Oh, it is sketchy, but I like it. Super, super sketchy, but I like that. Sounds like something's a little funky with the uh, pinion right now. The coggin actually might help. Ah. Oh, I'm having some pinion issues. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Something slipped. All right, let's just pop this body off real quick, or at least open it up. What is, what moved? Did something actually move? I actually can't tell. It looks like we've got some odd collision here. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on. It almost seems like the mesh is wrong. You know what? It seems like the mesh is up. Ah, oh, the gear's getting destroyed. So that means... All right, hold on. I gotta stop this so I can see what's going on. I think the pitch of the gear is wrong. Either the pitch of the gear is wrong, or something moved. Because that is definitely a lot looser than what I had it set at. Oh, I have a feeling that the, the, the pitch was wrong. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to have to pull that gear off and see what's going on. All right, well, you saw it. It actually hooked up.
We got a wheelie. So what does that mean? That means wheelie bar. I should have known. Reason why I say that I should have known was because, again, it's that looking at the gear, I thought it was 48 pitch. Now, 48 pitch is something that I remember from memory. But there is a, another gear that is close to 48 pitch. And when you initially run it, kind of works. But because the pitch is different, it chews the gear. So, Red Cat Racing Tornado EPX is uh, mod point six. So we're actually on the Robinson Racing website right now. And unfortunately, foolishly enough, so I'll bring this down. Actually, I could bring this over here, right? To bring this front and center so you can see it right here. I cannot make it bigger in a sense, like zoom out kind of deal. But when we look at the gears that are available, well, for mod point six, uh, looks like Robinson Racing only goes up to 24 teeth. And on their website, that's it. But if I was to go with what's going on here to 48, oh, look at all the pitch, look at all the teeth available. We can go all the way up to a 40. So now what the heck am I going to do? Where am I going to find 0.6 mod gear? All right. Jump out of here real quick. Obviously, this is of no use. Jump into here. We'll go to Amazon. And we'll see what Amazon maybe has for 0.6 mod gear. So 0.6 mod, oops, mod gear. What do they got? Oh, they got knives. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, if I go 0.6, there we go. Pinion gear, there we go. Maybe that's going to work. So, <laughs> this stuff right here, these uh, five gears, these pretty much look exactly like what I had. It's a point mod, 0.6 mod gear. Uh, I was just excited to run Robinson. We got Hobby Park over here. Hobby Park is... What are we looking at for Hobby Park? So Hobby Park says... 0.6 mod. Drive me nuts here. 1 8 bore. Mod 6. 22 tooth. That's obviously a Robinson Racing. That's like 8 bucks. That's insane. 1 8 21... Here's a pack right here, but that's 48. Why do they show me ones that I don't want? 48 pitch, I don't want that. All right, we are back on the Amazon page here. I believe this is probably the same, I guess, gear set. Um, and I really don't care about the price at this point in time. I just want to get some gears in that thing. Because of what we just saw, the thing hooked up and wheelied exactly like I was open. We now need a wheelie bar. The tires technically did straighten out. And I'll have to look at the footage to see how straight the car ran. Whether if I actually followed it or tracked it with this camera well enough. Because I didn't have the, um, the head mount on. It looks like um, we might take another trip to the hobby shop tomorrow. And see if they have any .6 mod. So, And unfortunately... They're not going to have it in a Robinson Racing because Robinson Racing only goes up to a 24. I would have more options if I switched out the, um, the spur gear. So that may be something that we explore. If I do do that, what should I go with? Should I go with a 48 pitch or should I go 
Mod 1. Mod 1 is just loud. I don't think I want to go with Mod 1. It's not like we're pulling, you know... Well, I mean, it's pulling. It's hooking up, but it's not pulling weight. I am very satisfied, I think. Granted, we do have to see the footage. Um, I did not have the GoPro on, so I'm not sure whether this camera actually caught that or not. Yeah. Anyways, this is kind of like uh, in the moment. So you you actually already saw the footage. I I, didn't, I haven't even seen the footage. And you already saw it. So this is going to be kind of a weird edit. But right there on Amazon, looks like we can get those gears right there. That's going to go all the way from a 23 to a 27. Uh, I might also get that one right there, which that one right there is a 28 through a 33. So now knowing that those tires actually hook up absolutely mint for what this is, drag bug. Yeah. Now we need a wheelie bar. I think what I... The lens is gross. I think what I like about this, the fact that it's hooking up the way it does, the fact that I, I still can't see on the footage, I haven't seen on the footage. I bet the tie is flattening out a little bit, and I bet we're loading up the sidewall. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I see in my head. That's what I feel like this crawler tire was going to do. You saw it. It hooked up. So now we need a wheelie bar. So i got to figure out a wheelie bar. But I was going to dive into this, right? But I figured what I should do, if you want to see the continuation of the destruction that happened with that gear, we don't even know really if the spur gear is really any good. I think it probably is. I didn't like analyze it all the way. There shouldn't be an issue. But if you want to see the update on drag bug, I guess you're going to have to see the live recording or be part of the channel. So anyways, if you like episodes like this from RC Guy Garage, I know it's like a, a follow me here and do this, but hey, why not? This is all fun. This is part of the RC hobby. And what do I always say? Just get out there and rip it. No way. God.